So this is John and Monica Bell. Uh, thanks guys for uh, talking uh, in this unique way in which we are doing this in 2020. <laughs> you guys are actually among the uh, majority who are still kind of doing a little bit of that shelter in place and quarantining. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, uh, but roughly 65, 70% of the people who attend Core Church are doing what you're doing, church online, and uh, are not attending in person. We have about 30, 35% of people that are, are coming in person. So you represent the majority of Core Church people right now. Um, but uh, first of all, I, I want to talk about, uh, well, let's talk, let's start with this. Uh, in the craziness of 2020, you're sheltering in place and none of us saw this coming. Uh, but you guys are strong followers of Jesus. What has God been speaking to each of you individually? What has he been teaching you through all of this upheaval? I would say um, first and foremost is reliance and trust on Christ. Because uh, whether COVID is here or not, we should all be depending on him. Um, we know that uh, people have endured all types of, you know, issues and problems from, you know, uh, job loss to, you know, mourning and grief over someone um, to, um, you know, having to do without certain things. And um, it's, you know, it's pretty heavy for, you know, people going through this time, um, whether you are a follower or not, you know, all of us are being affected in some way, some shape or some form. But I would just say reliance and trust on God and um, focusing on his promises and then also recalling the things that he's done, you know, um, because oh, ideally yeah. God has a good track record. You oh, know? man, that is so good, John. So no good. matter what, you know, you may think is that every day um, is a blessing to wake up and knowing that we have the breath of life and along with the activity of our limbs and um, just more importantly just experiencing his love and his grace and his mercy is the most important thing because you know we're all trying to shield ourselves from what's going on but the most important uh, place to take refuge is in god so. mm -hmm. That's so good. Now, uh, Monica, I want to hear from you, but one of the things I want to help everybody with is this is this is uh, on Zoom. We're doing this virtually, so it it is going to freeze up every once in a while. We don't know why. You know, it's just it is what it is. We're going to bear through that. I don't want to I don't want to restart anything because John, that's so powerful. But if it freezes up, we're just going to keep yeah. going. Monica, uh, how about you? I think during this time, like John said, it's just been a big thing remembering what God has done for you and that he keeps his promises. Um, I know it's been such a difficult time for everyone. Everyone has been affected in some way, whether they realize it or not. And just being able to go back and just rely on God and grow in that trust during this time. And it's such an opportunity for us as believers because in peacetime, it reminds me that we really need to continue to work on our spiritual formation and our growth. And in that peacetime, continue in the praying and as God leads us to fast, do those things because in a time like this, this is when we have to rely on that and just wow. keep moving forward. So, wow. Um, I don't think I need to preach today. Going. I don't think I need to preach. You guys have already preached for me. We just, we're just gonna take communion, go home now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I also, though, wanted to, you know, we're celebrating our uh, eighth anniversary as Core Church. Uh, how, how long have you guys been at Core Church? And, and just tell us what, what this church has meant to you guys personally. Well, we've been attending um, Core Church for a year and a half. Um, one year in person, six months virtually. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we've we've been in um, we've been sitting in a year and a half, but we've lived in Oklahoma for three years now, and so the first uh, thing that Core means to us is a landing spot because we're not from here. I'm originally from Mississippi. My wife is from Arkansas, and we met in Arkansas, and we uh, moved up here. 
And so for almost basically two years, uh, we were searching for a more permanent place to you know, serve, worship, and to gather and to you know, fellowship with other people. And we've attended so many churches during that time. For some churches, we've attended you know, just at one time, some a couple of weeks, even, you know, a few churches we attended, you know, a number of months, but we just never found that place where it's like, God, where do you want us to be at? Mm -hmm. um, we would, after each Sunday, we would like analyze and assess and just take our experience and try to, you know, filter it, you know, up against the word of God to see, okay, where well, God, do you want us to continue to be here? What are you trying to show us? Um, so I would just say that that landing spot of just having somewhere where you can, you know, just serve, worship, fellowship, get to know people and just join together, um, you know, in the work and doing the work of God and, um, and growing and, uh, you know, taking uh, part in the spiritual like maturation process. So yeah. I would say it being a landing spot is um, one of the biggest things for us. Oh, I like that. How about you, Monica? So for me, um, once again, it's helped me in my own personal growth and my spiritual growth, just knowing that when we started, I could see such a big emphasis on prayer. And that's something that I was working on myself and just trying to be um, just more diligent and just honest about like, you know, I need to get, you know, on my knees, I need to pray. If it's prostrate, I need to, I need to be praying more. And feeling like I can be in intercession for others and feeling and knowing that they are doing that for me. And I can attest to times where, you know, if it was heavy, um, as I was doing my internship for counseling, you know, just feeling the burden of weight, you know, being able to go to God and give it to him and then have others pray for me. And um, your mother-in-law, um, Sister Evelyn, just, you know, seeing her and um, just seeing that spiritual growth and maturity in her and mm -hmm. um, having her pray for me and with me on occasions and even That's in our group, yeah. you know, having that. And so that was such a, you know, valuable um, takeaway and something that Court Church was just so prevalent in at that time. It was, you know, it was a blessing. So we definitely appreciate that. You guys, that that is so great. You have preached up in here today. I mean, this is so good. I appreciate you guys. Um, and we're praying for you. Pray for everybody as we try to try to navigate the craziness of this year. But I appreciate your your heart for Jesus and focusing on him. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.